We are now on question number 10 of WASI 2023 Core Mathematics NAVDEC Paper 2, November, December Paper 2, General Mathematics Paper 2, Question 10. We solved the questions 1 through 9 in previous videos, so please kindly check this playlist. Now let's move on with question number 10 on plane geometry 2 or circuit theorem. In a diagram, MNRS is a circle center O. Line segment OR is parallel to line segment MS and angle SRO is 52 degrees. Calculate angle R and M, angle OMS. So since this line is parallel to this line, line RS is a transversal. So this angle and this angle are co-interior angles. So angle RSM angle 52 degrees will be equal to 180 degrees so angle RSM will be equal to 180 minus 52 which is 128 degrees the reason is that co-interior angles are adding up to 180 now if this is 128 then we can find this angle because cyclic quadrilaterals the opposite angles will add up to 180 so angle R and M, what we are asked to find, R and M plus angle R S M, which is 128 degrees, should be equal to 180 degrees. Cyclic quadrilaterals are supplementary. The opposite angles are supplementary. So it means that angle R and M is equal to 180 minus 128 degrees, which is 52 degrees. Now let's look at II. The II part is asking us to find angle OMS, angle OMS, which is this angle here. Now this angle and this one are also co-interior angles. So angle OMS plus angle ROM should be equal to 180 degrees. Now, angle o, ROM is two times of this angle because this is angle at the center. So it is twice the one on the circumference, which is 52 degrees. So 180. So angle OMS, angle OMS will be equal to 180 minus 104 which is equal to 76 degrees we have the equation trigonometric equation 24 degrees minus 2 tan 3x minus 10 degrees is equal to 14 degrees so we group the constant terms so let me send this one to the other side to avoid a negative, so 24 minus 14 is equal to 2 tan 3x minus 10. So 10 would be equal to 2 tan 3x minus 10. So dividing through by 2 by 2, we are having 5 is equal to tan 3x minus 10. So you consider the whole thing as an angle. So let's say we have tan theta is equal to 5. You take tan inverse of both sides. You don't expand. This is trigonometry. So tan inverse of both sides. Tan inverse of 5 will be equal to tan inverse of tan 3x minus 10, which will give us 3x minus 10 degrees. So tan inverse of 5, if you punch this on your calculator making sure that it is in degrees the calculator is in degrees you are going to get 78.69007 is equal to 3x minus 10 so 78.6900 plus 10 we equal to 3x so we have 88.69007 is equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3. By 3. So 
what do we get? Um, we have eighty-eight point six nine zero zero seven divided by three. And that will give us 29.5634 is equal to x. So to the nearest whole number is 30 degrees. x is equal to 30 degrees. Please don't go yet. Let's go and continue solving question number 11 kindly check the playlist so that we meet there see you in the next video